do it back, I know you have to ignore it. Hi. Another of my, my names is um, Abby Dot Gold. Now, Gold is a surname in the UK, used in the UK, G O L D. It's a metal, obviously, precious metal, but it's also um, a surname, which means people now can have their first name dot their surname as a personalised website address, which is global. These are will become expensive, but no one no one really knows much about them. I know them because I was I'm into GTLDs, but if you're not into GTLDs, you won't realise it. And like in the UK, people pay a lot of money for personalised numbers that's just for initials and a couple of numbers. To have the perfect, exact first name surname as a GTLD. But if you get them, they're a fiver. But if you buy them from me, they're not. So I've, I own Abby, A B B E Y, dot G O L D. That's the that's the complete website address. It's probably a first name of somebody, someone's first name. Um, make it a link in social media. Make me an offer. Check for trademarks. There you go. I bought it for a registry. But if you buy a dot gold, let's say you you may have a, you you your your first man your first man you may have a surname. You may your surname maybe maybe dot gold. But it's not that one, it's another one. Just check see if it's available. It might be. But they cost five about five, ten quid to buy. Well that they used to. Um but to renew a dot gold it's about a hundred pounds a year. Which is about ten times the price of a dot com. Please bear that in mind if you actually um, buy dot gold GTLDs. They do cost a lot of money to renew each year, which means you could pay a lot of money to buy it in the first place. Maybe. It's usually a fake coughing. It's a fake coughing all over the place. Right, it's, it's background noise everywhere. Um, but if you can't afford the hundred pounds, you lose the website address. That's it. So, um, uh, that's it, Abby don't know. I own it. Make it a link and um, make me an offer of interest. It's not going to be cheap, obviously.